one of the dudes out of the uh, uh, Jordan Downs got killed and find out that a bounty hunter killed dude and find out from the grandmother that they was related. Dang. Wow. And, and the grandmother wanted to go to the funeral, but this is a, a crip funeral and, and bloods can't go. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Between, is it Fruit Town and Treetop, why is it that they don't get along? What are they, What? why don't they get along? This is California business. Murder. It's been bloodshed. Yeah, we started back in 87, 88. It's been going on and just stuff happens and you know, they like, we're right across the street from each other. I literally, rose crown on this side, treetops on this side, fruit top. It was, but when DJ quit, you hear him talk about fruit top, he talk about Jackie, he talk about Ducky, fruit top and treetops were one. And an incident happened and treetop felt like they didn't get treated right. And the beef started and it just go on. Like, it's just like, if I do something to you and I feel it's no justice. You feel there was no justice done. And okay, we gonna get over it. Then I do something to your sister. And it's all, and I just, so now I, how I'm gonna keep letting you do this? Mm -hmm. And it's no retaliation. Now we gotta kick back. You know what I'm saying? So we start these in-house beefs and on some personal things. And some of this stuff is justified. Some of it's not justified. But once blood is shed, it's hard to get over blood. It, it, that stain is deep. And sometimes you can separate for a while, but it'll never be a cohesive bond again. You feel what I'm saying? So that's the situation. And the situation intensifies itself that you got, like my son, my grandson, they weren't even born when this happened. But they take sides on something that's just, you know, just the Hatfields and the McCoys. I'm just mad because I'm mad. I'm fruit town here with treetops. Like, bro, what is you talking about? You know, when we have so many other problems that we can address, but we try to find a solution in something that's easy for us. It's easy for us to hate each other, but wow. we'll forgive everybody else, you know? So the climate is, and and then and, and I blame a lot of it on what we call OGs. Instead of setting the record straight, we're easy to tell a youngster to do some weird shit than to try to correct it and say like, man, look, we gotta stop this at all costs. We got families, you know, right across the street. You went with my sister, she didn't have a baby for you. You didn't have this, it's families. And this is like the, like, like the Nickerson Gardens and the Jordan Downs, that families, this is how the gang truth started. Um, one of the dudes out of the uh, uh, Jordan Downs got killed and find out that a bounty hunter killed dude and find out from the grandmother that they was related. Dang. Wow. And, and the grandmother wanted to go to the funeral, but this is a, a crip funeral and, and bloods can't go. So Dao them, they got together like, man, this is crazy. We can't keep this going like this. So look, we're going to do a truce so this family can get together and all of, they find out that they looking at each other. They know they were related. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm crazy. saying? Being territorial, I don't like you just, I don't even know you. But then we sitting in a classroom, we got the same last name and it never clicked. That your daddy and my daddy was brothers. Dang, that's crazy. You feel what I'm saying? So that was the birth of the gang truth. Not that it lasted because see, having a truth, I respect your situation, you respect mine. That don't mean we party together. Because it's alcohol and weed and women get a get confusion. You understand me? Here I come in your neighbor. I'm dancing with your wife and man, blood. You let that nigga dance with your that crap nigga dance with you. man. Oh, nigga, come on, now we got a situation. You know what I'm saying? Wow. How far off? Like when you when you look at the movies, and I watch movies. Um, when you look at like a lot of the movies, they influenced a lot of things. When I, when I talked to Ice T, and we was talking about colors, you know what I'm saying? That was the time when I first seen it hit 
different cities, different states. When I seen the the Colors movie, I seen it in Houston, Texas. I remember it was a fight afterwards. It got a little radical because of all the violence in the movie. People just acting a fool in Houston. I was in. I remember that. Like um, that movie back then, you guys were living it during the time when you made that song Colors, because that's when I really started to know about gangs. I'm being so Me honest too, with you. I did not know nothing about no gangs till that song and that movie came on and we fought right after that mm. in Houston, Texas. We whooped somebody right after that. And because, I haven't even watched that movie yet. I know you told me that, yes. but I'm telling you that song. This is what happened with Colors. Colors is a movie about LA gangs. It wasn't factual because in the movie, the Mexicans and the blacks fought. Correct. The Mexicans and blacks have never fought. Mm. Okay. There's never been a Mexican black gang war. Uh, there's been drug situations with the Mexicans and the blacks, but actual war, uh, no. a, a war between a different, uh, you know, Compton Crips fighting. Me no, because that would that would be that would be the end of L.A. Mm. If that happened. Wow. Mm. The black. Now, in prison, they're separated. Oh, for sure. In prison and the Mexicans are separated. You got the border brothers. You got South and Northern Nortanus. You got that. But on the streets, Mexican and black people kind of live together. We low ride together. We we all it's kind of okay. like blacks and Puerto Ricans in mm -hmm, New York. Mm -hmm. You want to start a war? Start blacks and the Puerto Ricans fighting in New York. That would be, be crazy. <laughs> That'd be a bloodbath. Yes, yeah. these guys were portraying something that basically on a movie. But it, a lot of people in my comments say it didn't line up correctly. It says that the Hispanics never warred with the. With you no, know, the Hispanic gangs never war with the black gangs. Is this something real, or is that just that's all we war with? It. I mean, street, street, as far as the street go. I mean, in prison, it's blacks and Mexicans. Of course, uh, in prison, know, uh, uh, and in on the street, everything. Ha we have different beefs like uh, the flats, Compton Vadio Thresse. Uh, we respect territories. So, do the Mexican gangs war with the? Black gangs? Yes. They do. Most definitely. They, they don't even war. They they dominate us now. It ain't no war. We war with each other, but we won't kill a Mexican. We ain't gonna get in it. We ain't gonna get they, they, they too deep. We say. So right now, you know, they dominate. People don't want to talk about that, but they taking over hoods and ain't no ain't no retaliation. So they taking over like like Say whether it be a crib hood, whether it be they a didn't took, they didn't took a, 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 a crib hood. A, it used to be like a Palmer Block Crips, Palmer Block Crips is down Palmer. Now the flats got all Palmer Street in there, and they got fuck niggas and all this. You understand me? Only treetops is getting clothed in by Mexicans, you know. But another, we'll we'll war against each other. But in all Pyrus get together, it's just like in America. In, in, in Islam, it says if a non-believer aggresses against a Muslim, all Muslims should stop the aggression until he doesn't aggress no more or kill him in the line of the aggression, right? It was no way that America should have came in and do anything to Saddam Hussein or Iran because that was shaitan coming in a Muslim country and dominating and Pakistan and Cairo, Egypt didn't stand with the Muslims. And they invaded them and now they're taking over. They, it, when they first started uh, um, Desert Storm, when Ramadan came, America backed up. They respected Ramadan. And then they saw, oh, shoot, we, the next year, they start killing Iranians during Ramadan, and that's forbidden. Wow. So now Africa and all the Muslim states, instead of combined, they just get aggressed to John. In the same way, the gang culture in California, we're letting Mexican gangs just dominate. 151, what Pyru neighborhood, Mexicans came in one day and told it, told a block that these blacks couldn't stand. The feds had to come in. Not the gangs. The feds had to come in against Compton Body Thrust because the niggas, y'all can't stay here. We'd run them off the block. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.